I guess that we can all agree that video games have gotten truly insane and the definition of the word insane I don't think actually matches up with the energy that you're gonna see going around right now BBC presenter calls for purge of gamers and I'm not talking about this BBC yeah we had a BBC bundle in Call of Duty not long ago guys I got a video that I want to show you uh, get ready for the climax Pretty extreme if you ask me, said the quad ring. You want to know what happened? Jules Hardy, strong, independent. Can we agree that for round two of this, I suppose round two means like, uh, you know, round two of Gamer Git or some bull squash like that? Yeah. Can we agree that for round two of this, it can be the final purge of these kind of gamers? What kind of gamers we're talking about, right? Toxic gamers, uh, manipulating gamers, gamers that just simply want to play the game and gamers that just <laughs> don't wanna have a failure <laughs> gamers that don't like the political bs what kind of gamers we're talking about but guys like the video if you think there are two genders dislike the video if you think there are billions of genders uh let's not try to be hitler here let's give everybody you know voice uh democracy right but first of all roll this what's up everyone it's indemion and i got another video for you today because there's some shenanigans going on around the internet yet again big surprise right yeah i know what else is new from Helldivers 2 still being hammered about inclusion and diversity, a Gearbox writer doubling down to defense sweet baby, Pokemon is apparently going full-blown DEI and much more. There's so much nonsense, yeah, so it. let's start we with Helldivers it. 2. From Pink News, we have this article titled, LGBTQ plus Helldivers players complain of rampant and surreal in-game toxicity. As if the discourse surrounding Helldivers 2 could get any more muddied and ridiculous, the nonsense just keeps coming. In case you don't Brand. know, Helldivers 2 is very much an anti-pretty-much-everything game. What I mean by this is that there are no real-world symbols within Helldiver's world whatsoever. There's no LGBT- And I'm not sure if you guys heard this or not. I should have a video already on the topic by now, but apparently they have launched a they-them character in Valorant. And if you- I shit you not, bro. Like, this hand on top of this bottle of water. A video game character, okay, virtual character, and if you misgender accidentally or whatever, like, uh, if this other, if you accidentally misgender, it's fine, but if you misgender the character, you can get banned <laughs> from the game permanently. Uh, I shit you not, I already have a video out on the channel for sure, but... ...the flags, no Make America Great Again symbols, or any other country at all. The game is simply just Helldivers and that's it. And of course, yeah. because this game doesn't bend the knee in any direction for anyone, this is anger. I mean, at least, like, should have had, like, a make woman woman again, though, like, you know certain saying? demographics like out there. The reason being is simply because every single Western game pretty much to some capacity caters to or completely bends over backwards for these groups. Of course, it's usually marketed as being a win, but the reality is most Western studios know if they don't cater to these specific groups like the LGBTQ plus crowd, they'll get swarmed and then torn to pieces. And on the other hand, you have the majority of players, like yourself probably, who just want it, to escape and play some video games. Yeah. The reason why Helldivers fans specifically are so against real-world representation in all forms is because it would break the immersion of the game's world. It would be like playing Dark Souls and randomly the flag of a real-world country showing up within the game's world. Mm. It would completely change the feel and believability of the game's landscape, and it would ruin- Helldivers is not the game for that, and these like is one <laughs> so bad to have the rainbow flags in the game. Bro, like, these like don't even have any country flags. Leave the gamers alone. Leave the games alone, bro. Not every games need- Not every game need a BBC bundle. Not every game needs a they, them operator. Not every game needs that, bro. Like, what are we doing? Games are a form of escape. Suckers just wanna chill. Suckers just wanna play. Brothers just wanna- enjoy a game with their homeboys that's it simple as that not every game needs that but they are struggling to uh, convince the hell divers dev to add the rainbow flags dog this is not the game for that bro like this is not no game should have that bro okay maybe like one or two game out of 10 games but not 10 games out of 10 games need that bro okay some games okay we get it but not every game needs that bbc or lgb treatment bro like the escapism that players rightfully seek out when playing video games. And like I said, pretty much every single- And trust me, I'm- I'm a big, brown-ass, beautiful man, and I have changed my pronouns to they, them as well, Bruh. so I get more rights, right? And I'm a brown-ass man. I also have a BBC, bro. Bruh. As a man that has a BBC, bro, not every game needs a BBC. Y you feel what I'm saying? Like the video if you agree. Western game bends well over backwards to appease all of these groups, so Helldivers refusing to is seen as a big no-no in their eyes. And they have in the past already said things like, well, what harm could one flag or rainbow cape really cause? Well, you know, as well as I do, that as soon as there's a crack in the dam, soon will the crashing waves of nonsense come flooding through until the entire experience is drowning in all the yeah. real-world symbolisms and more. 
Of course, you, you give them an inch, they take a mile. Many players who are LGBT are mad about this, but I think it's fair and right of the studio to not want to seek out the ongoing culture war. And I think Helldivers is resounding proof that will hopefully change the industry for the better. And again, what I mean by this hopefully. is look at the Gamergate 2 situation right now. It's a complete mess. There's so much yeah. happening with it right now, and the term Sweet Baby Inc. involved is akin to pretty much taking your game out back and putting two mercy shots in its head. Helldivers proves that you can sell millions of copies in a short span of time as long as you don't pander and don't bend to the every demand of every yep. single group that's out there. And it also annoys me that these articles like this one and others seem to paint the situation as somehow being pro-conservative because of their stance. That Arrowhead Studios not allowing pride flags and Helldivers is somehow a win for right-wing players when they too have their symbolisms rejected in equal measure. I want to be clear that what Helldivers devs are yeah, doing- Yeah, Helldivers doesn't have any pro, like, right-wing or conservative uh, stuff in the game. This is just a game made by passionate devs for the gamers, for that audience, right? And people are loving it, and guess what happens? People love it, and people play, and people talk about it! <laughs> Positively, right? Like, this is what happens when you create games that are made by passionate people and the game has... It has a soul inside. It, I, I have not played Helldivers because I'm not the target audience, but you know what? I can appreciate that. I can respect that. You feel what I'm saying? And this is, like, different level of stupid. What I mean by this is that there are Saints Row. Saints Row, prime example. There have been other studios that have adapted the, you know, woke ideologies, the woke identities, and they have let Sweet Baby Inc., you know, get in their <laughs> coochie, let's just say. Bruh. They let Sweet Baby Inc. inject them with their bullcrap, and guess what happens? People don't like their games. People don't want to play their games. And then they quickly find out they're not making money. And then they quickly realize, oh shit, if we don't make the money, we then gotta shut down. That's like different kind of stupid. Why would you listen to Sweet Baby Inc. that first of all hate gamers, that don't like gamers, that don't have best interest for gamers, that don't even understand how gaming works and what gamers want, but they clearly have no, uh, no idea. They have no idea. They're out there to ruin your games, your project. Because uh, I would like to believe whether you were, you were a dev that actually worked on Saints Row, I would like to believe that maybe to some degree you were passionate about the project. To some degree you have put effort into it, right? I, I know on the internet it's kind of like, nah, I mean, these things never put any effort into it. Yeah, we can get to extreme levels like that. We can go that route. But deep down, everybody know that you surely would have put a little bit, an ounce of effort into the project and you clearly didn't want it to be fired from the job, uh, you didn't want it to see the studio that you were working at, you didn't want it to see that studio go out of business because you realize if it does then I'm, I'm out! Um, I lost my job. Nobody likes that. Nobody want to see people go out of job. Sweet baby ink, they want all of you seconds going out of jobs right now because, uh, I mean, uh, that's different kind of stupid, bro. You are paying Sweet Baby Inc. that don't even know what the hell is going on. You let them inject. And, and then it's like, you guys are not making money. You're wasting money. And ultimately, then you have to shut down your studio. Like, why even do that, bro? Like, come on, dog. Like, we here is not a gotcha a or negative against any one level. group. They are treating everyone with the same mentality. None of your symbols are allowed. They don't care who you are or what you represent. Just keep it out of the game. But I think why this is a hot topic issue is simply because these sorts of players, and of course the journalists who rally and protect them, are not used to being rejected like this. They are obviously used to having their every demand fulfilled. Oh, you want a rainbow flag? Well, why isn't there a demigender flag? Oh, an asexual icon or badge? Why isn't there any pro non-binary imagery in the game? Okay, like demigender? That's the first time I'm hearing it. I don't know. I don't even know half of these terms, bro. Like, what planet am I on? <laughs> is this planet Earth, bro? Is this still planet Earth? Dem demigender? What the hell is that? I'm learning new crap every day. That I shit you not. In the last video, there was a word called pookie, I believe, right? Uh, because they add they added like a non-binary. Um, specialist operator if you misgender you can get banned right i made a video on it already uh, on the channel and if you're brand new i'd love to have you around uh, definitely check out the last episodes that we've done with Aspen gold uh we do gta6 content uh, call of duty cheaters and all the gaming news as well right but apparently they are you can get you can get banned for misgendering bro you see what i mean it keeps going Eventually, when you do pander, you end up creating a non-stop deluge of demands that pretty much will never end because you can never satisfy everyone's needs and wants in a realistic fashion. So yep. instead, your game ends up just becoming this big self-identifying mess than what it should remain as, which is, of course, a video game. 
Yeah. One user on Twitter, which was linked to the article, said this, enjoyed Helldivers 2, but the creative director saying this while their Discord has been rampant with racist, anti-LGBTQ plus hatred since launch is just laughable. What they're referring to is how the CEO of Arrowhead didn't want to compare Helldivers to communities like Halo and thinks everyone should just play and enjoy both or neither. And there's no point in comparing or pitting them against one another and he's right. Just play whatever the hell you want, whether it's Halo, Helldivers, or something else. Who cares which one is better than the other one in whichever arbitrary category you're pushing on those games? They're completely different experiences to begin with, so just play what makes you happy and move on. But yeah. of course, like that user who was used in yeah. the article said, it isn't enough for them. How can the Arrowhead CEO be all kumbaya about not comparing the Helldivers and Halo kumbaya. community while his game doesn't allow for LGBTQ plus representation? The simple answer Bruh. is because Arrowhead CEO is an adult Bruh. and understands that realistically, he nor his team can appease everyone. I yep. mean, if you actually go look at the CEO's Twitter, it says this, a game for everyone is a game for no one. And he's mm. right, and clearly his studio's game exemplifies this perfectly because he knows better than anyone that you can't cater to every single- Helldivers 2 is estimated to have sold 8 million copies so far, holy crap. <laughs> That's insane though, uh, do you, okay, so, yeah, Helldivers is PlayStation and PC only. I was gonna say, like, is it available on Game Pass or not, but then I realized, yeah, it's PlayStation and Xbox only, because I was gonna make a point, okay, 8 million stats, even if it's on Game Pass or not, still a lot, but, like, obviously, if it's on Game Pass, then, you know, it gets a boost, uh, very, very quickly. It's a good thing, obviously, like, a lot of players get to play the game, but, but now, it makes it even more valuable to see numbers like 8 million. It, it, it that number is a lot more, like, worth it, valuable, and a lot more impressive. Yeah, that was the word that I was looking for. A lot more impressive because Sega's have actually paid uh, for the game rather than just paying for Game Pass and getting it that way. Not bad. It's not a bad thing. I'm just saying, like, uh, you, you you know what I mean, right? It's like one of those things, like, we're hearing that Call of Duty is eventually going to come on Game Pass, so a lot of people are going to save money. I'm all up for that, okay? Absolutely. Who want to pay $70 every year for a trash-ass game, right? If it's free, then you enjoy the trash a little bit, right? Uh, here and there, whatever. It's free, it's free. It's okay. It's free, it's for me. But when it's like full price, then uh, yeah, that's that's an impressive number. Absolutely. Cool person's wishes. And Arrowhead CEO likely understands that if he does pander, like so many of his fellow studios do, all it will end up doing is ruining the player base that's already there, and as we've seen all month so far with a sweet baby backlash, when you piss off the players, you gain nothing but disdain and rage in return. Literally, all Helldivers needs to continue doing is what they've been doing since day one. They don't need to cater to anything whatsoever, they just have to keep adding new weapons, gear, and missions to the game to keep the player base happy. That's it. And if Helldivers 2 ever does end up pandering to anyone regardless of political ideology, yep, that's yep. the day Helldivers 2 and the franchise at large dies. Yeah, and I think I Sony, hopefully, is starting to realize that not only are Spider-Man 2 cost more to make than Sony paid for Insomnia games. Bumbaka! And Spider-Man 2, don't get me wrong, man. It's a good ass game, but all the woke bullcrap they added because of Sweet Baby Inc. Yeah, Sweet Baby Inc. was behind it. Uh, it basically became public knowledge recently. Seconds were complaining about it even before that information was known. Seconds were calling it woke uh, for right reasons. Uh, majority, I mean, people were not minding the gameplay aspect of Spider-Man 2 or the story because it's a good game. We realize it's a good game. Even I say it, I said it before. I'll say it again. After even even though the information is now known that the game is woke and yeah they let sweet baby ink inject them it's like dog spider-man 2 it's a good game but why give mj a testosterone shot bro like they turned her into they try to turn her into a man like a skeleton of what she was back in the original spider-man 1 uh, game right spider-man 2018 right uh, it's like she looked i like nuts yeah make her strong a little bit make her independent make her useful we don't mind that yeah let her help a little bit uh the, the peter parker right it's fine okay cool tag team collaboration cool cool but it's like towards the end of the game it's like you know peter would have died if she wasn't around that's like bro like at this point bro you are ruining the spider-man character you feel what I'm saying? At that point, you're ruining it, but okay, fair, like, whatever, like, maybe she helped him out, but it's like, don't make it so, like, if she wasn't around, Peter Parker would have died, he would have ceased to exist, don't make it like that, like, come on, bro, like, Spider-Man is a superhero, though, if it was, like, a normal game, normal plot, a normal movie, for example, like, okay, understandable, right, like, you know, your partner saved you, beautiful, and then you live uh, up together 
forever, right? Let's just put it that Bruh. way. I know it sounds kind of cringy, but but like, okay, sounds plausible. But we're talking about a superhero game, damn it. We're talking about a superhero game. And uh, she got a testosterone shot. And towards the end, she got like a like a big one. She got like a five pounder, five pounder testosterone shot, bruh. Like not even my, like damn, homie, I thought my little pinky had more testosterone. But after I saw that, bro, like nah, bro, like she had more testosterone than 50 men combined, bro. Bruh. Are these cheaper made games profitable since AAA game again, development costs again. are completely out of whack? Well, they also realize that when they keep the real world stupidity out of their games, players will show up in droves. They did it for Helldivers. Even Final Fantasy 16 sold 3 million copies in 3 days since launch. And journals tried to push their way into that game and make it bend the knee, but Square Enix said no. And I think more game studios, publishers, and the like need to take the stance of Helldivers or Final Fantasy 16. Just say no to all of these idiots. We don't need to cater to everything or put a bunch of political jargon in the games. Just make yep. them fun escapism yep. and big surprise, players will show up in hordes. Yep. And now Absolutely. let's look at the complete opposite of what Arrowhead CEO and Helldivers is doing with that parkplace.com uh -oh. with their article titled, uh -oh. Xbox is head of gaming for everyone in sustainability. Katie Joe Wright confirms company is committing Come financial suicide. Bruh. If you don't intentionally include, you will unintentionally exclude. Katie Joe Wright is yet another person whose job is just a made up nonsense title. What the hell kind of position is head of gaming for everyone in sustainability? Like, why is that even a thing to begin with? Like, I've been saying for well over two years now at least, you cannot make a game for everyone. I can't believe I need to say what I'm saying next, but I feel like I need to explain this like I'm talking to a toddler so these morons will understand. You see, there's these things in entertainment. They're called genres, and each genre caters to different groups of people. There's the action genre. Horror's one too. Comedy. And with video games, you even got stuff like Open RPGs world, RPG. or RTS genres. Yeah. The reason the entire concept of genres exists is because you can't make games for everyone with one single product. Unless someone out there manages to make a live service action I, I feel like that the only game that's gonna cater, cater to a, a lot of people is gonna be GTA 6, but even then, GTA 6 is not gonna be horror, though. It's not gonna be horror. It's not gonna be horror. It's not gonna... It's still not gonna appeal to everybody. It's gonna appeal to a lot of gamers, right? A lot of people, absolutely. And suckers that don't even play games, they're gonna be like, okay, let me let me just go ahead and buy me a PlayStation 5 and let me play the game or Xbox or whatever, right? Like, or maybe when it or you know two three years later when it's on pc you don't have playstation or xbox it comes on pc and you have a decent pc you play it that way right i think even the non-gamers are gonna get into gta 6 so yeah i hope they don't walk if i gta 6 it looks like that it's gonna be guys I i'm sorry but that's kind of like the news and information that's going around right and, and obviously like i did a video on it like a few days ago like if you go over on the channel this is the one gta 6 i am worried gta 6 is sadly going full walk rip it's your sweet baby ink detected on gta 6 yeah, we, we saw a video, a guy was absolutely panicking, and for right reasons, because Rockstar Games, those sickers have gone back to GTA 5 and removed a lot of things from the game and wokeified a lot of aspects. Now, don't get me wrong, GTA 6 is gonna be woke. I guess you know it, I know it, who are we kidding? Let's be real. And I'm a fan of the GTA franchises, a uh, franchise, yeah, the entire franchise, uh, I was gonna say franchises like uh, they damn you know how many how many franchises we're talking how many people we're talking <laughs> but, but english language is kind of confusing and yeah uh right now it's a lot more confusing but my point here is that like i'm a fan of the franchise and i'm looking forward to gta 6 and i know it's gonna be a little bit woke i hope it's a little bit i hope it's not fully woke the argument here is this right obviously the real world is also you know you got the day them running around right yeah okay if it makes sense you have it in the game fine you know and and i'll give you this example gta 4 had the ballad of gay tony dlc the character was gay right tony and it was a very good game People had no problem with it. Why? Because they didn't try to shove sh trash down people's throat. It becomes a problem when you tell people what to do. That People don't like that. People don't want to hear it. Understandably, respectfully, same goes here. Like, okay, if you want to suck up BBC. Extreme example, I know I'm trying to be like, uh, you know, add a little bit of entertainment so you guys don't fall asleep here. <laughs> but like, you know, I have a BBC. I want to put the BBC in places, but I don't want to suck up BBC. You feel what I'm saying? And when somebody tells me, like, suck up BBC, I don't agree with that. I don't want none to do with it. Some like it. Okay, you like it. Don't tell me. Don't force me. It's one of those things, right? Like, suckers don't want to, brothers don't want to, <laughs> don't, they don't want to be told what to do. And it's fair. 
And nowadays, it's like, bro, you misgender, you get banned. And they are putting a lot of woke identities, woke ideologies, literally in everything. Like, all the movies, all the games right now. And people are having enough. It's like, yeah, you can have it. Surely, you can have a little bit of it, but just don't push it down over throat. Not everybody needs to be like that because if everybody turns like that then population crumbles then the planet is doomed then the species cannot grow you feel what i'm saying that's simple biology that's not even my opinion that's a fact and this is what they taught in school back in the days you know a female needs a male and a male needs a female without them being together you know a little bbc cannot grow you know in order to have like i'm a brown man i have a bbc right like if my parents didn't got together like i wouldn't be out here having a bbc simple simple as that simple as that nothing complicated right so if you want a bbc in the future then i mean yeah don't push everybody to do the same crap you you feel what i'm saying don't simply put like <laughs> people don't like trash being shoved down their throat people don't want to be told what to do and it's easy as that you can have representation but it's like dog don't tell people what to do guys uh, this is our last video that we've done this is a gta 6 video on the left though we had some good news about gta 6 you feel what i'm saying uh you know click or or scratch that that you can get banned for misgendering i'm gonna have that video instead okay check out both of these videos and i'll see you right there